Good morning, happy March 23rd, and welcome back to the Leaf Riders of Renwood, where we have left the castle and are now on our journey to find the Forest Guardians and an owl that can help us with the Tree of Seasons. Yesterday we had a, a little kerfuffle at the gate, but we were able to intimidate the guards into letting us leave. So, let's see how our journey begins now that we're officially on the road. We will tear this off. Alright, and we have Saturday the 23rd and Sunday the 24th of March, which is Star's Day and Sun's Day of Frostmelt. And it's Purim? I don't know that one. Okay. But yes, we have a map of, or a portion of the map of Renwood. And yeah, we can see the journey that we're doing. So looks like we have two different options, one following the road and one going through the forest and passing pretty close to the borough, which is tempting for us because that's where we're from. And I do see, before I even read, that there is the campfire symbol. So we could um, take a rest if we wanted. Um, so we probably will want to do that at some point. Um, one thing I neglected to do was verify if there were specific rules about when we can do that. So I'm going to quickly take a little look here in the rules and, and check if we need to rest at a specific time. I don't see it talking about that anywhere. Um, it's not in the rest section and there isn't a campfire section that I see. It's not in the traveling section either. Okay. So, yes, we will just assume we can do it whenever we want. So I'll probably do the rest after this travel day. But let's go ahead and read the page. The way to the Lost Woods has you headed east. There is a route on a well-traveled road that should be easy and safe where you are likely to meet other travelers. A direct path through the narrow bluff mountains might be challenging but the risk could offer rewards. Okay. So we have options. We can option A, take the road, which will be rolling a d20, adding wisdom. Or we could take the mountain route, rolling a d20 and adding wisdom. And both of them uh, utilize the survivalist ability, which we do have. So I think we should take the one that has potential rewards, because we have survivalist, so we're already expected to do all right on this, since we're plus two. Yeah, that feels like the way to go. So, let's do that. Let's also read the back if it, in case it says anything. Okay. It does not, so we're just at take the mountain route, roll the d20. All right. Okay, we rolled an 8, which is not great, but there we go. And we have uh, plus 0 for wisdom, and plus 2 is 10 for our roll. Yikes. All right. If the result is 10 or less, the treacherous terrain and harsh weather slow your progress significantly. You must consume three meal rations. All right, well, we can do that. We luckily did purchase some extra rations. So we go from seven down to four. I wonder if now we should switch this maybe because we actually write on this. So it's a little bit more convenient to have it here. All right, there we go down to four meal rations. Trekking through the rough terrain for such long periods causes exhaustion. Uh, so we need to roll a d20 and add constitution. And it reminds us about the athlete ability, which we do also have. So that's good. And we could use our tough snail to do um, a plus one if we think we need it. All right, that is a six, which is also not very good. Uh, our constitution is plus one for seven, and then our uh, athlete ability is nine. Uh, so if the result is between eight and 13, you push through the fatigue. Reduce your health by one. All right. We are down to five. All right. Okay, well, I would not say that went well, but, you know, there you go. All right, 
and then it just reminds you that if you don't if you ever need to consume meal rations and don't have enough you reduce your health but that did not apply to us so no rewards for us but we at least made it through and um, I am going to go ahead and take a rest. So the only thing that's really going to do is heal us, but I think that's important enough to do. So we go back up to 14. There we go. And we don't have any wounds or anything to heal, but it would heal those. And all of our party members are also at full health so that it does not affect them. And there we go. And then we can go ahead and do the Sunday Lottery as well. So let's go ahead and roll our D6 for that. A four. So I believe that is we gain two amber. Let's double check that. Uh, four, yes, gain two amber. All right. We are up to six amber. And there we are. All right. Feels like we're probably going to have a combat here pretty soon, just because it has been uh, quite a while since we had to have a combat. We could have had to fight the guards yesterday, and I can see that there was a potential combat uh, today that we did not have. But it feels like uh, there will probably be a, a forced combat here soon. So kind of look forward to that. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.